This is my week eight training seminar presentation in educational technology, TEL 71710. This workshop seminar will be held at a Los Angeles high school in the art department. Um, the title of this seminar workshop is ninth through 12th grade art class, a new educational technology introduction and exploration. The theme for this uh, seminar workshop is high school grades 9 through 12, teaching and learning, and meeting the needs of digital learners in art education. The participants of this workshop will be the art department staff, as well as some school administration. The date it will be held will be June uh, 19th, 2023, and it will be held from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the afternoon. The location, it will be a virtual uh, seminar via a Zoom link that has been provided to all attendees. The statement for this uh, seminar workshop aims to propose the adoption of digital notebooks. The art program tools to be adopted are digital notebooks, specifically the Lenovo Tablet TBJ606. Integration of education technology tools to improve student learning in art electives. The importance of the adoption of the Lenovo, Lenovo digital tablet is to be progressive in the art world of education and to teach art students the future in art while perfecting their skills as digital citizens and users of educational technology. The objectives that we find in this uh, seminar workshop, there are several. Um, number one is faculty the faculty training plan. Um, so this is a biannual training seminar workshop via Zoom that assists in troubleshooting user interface and creative emphasis. So let's go through the timeline. The timeline is June 20, sorry, June 19th of 2023, and it will be held from 2 to 6 p.m. in the afternoon. Um, starting at 2 to 3 o'clock will be the intro to the seminar workshop. And then at 3 to 3.30, explanation of standards relevant to this tool. And then from 3.30 to 4.30, an introduction to the tablet's features and its functionality. And then from 4.30 4 to 5.30, um, we will have an explore, exploration of the tablet so everyone can be kind of hands-on with it and try to figure things out on their own. Uh, 5.30 to 6 will be a half an hour for questions and commentary regarding um, their own exploration and just, you know, any questions that may come up with, that people may come up with in regards to its adoption. <clears throat> Number two of the objectives is promoting student engagement and improving student learning through educational technology adoption. So this tool will increase relevance in a digital age of learning and entice students to build a digital portfolio where they can access all of their artworks in one space and will not have to worry about losing or damaging their art. <clears throat> this one is the most important, I think, of the objectives coming from an art background um, because there have been instances in my personal experience where my art has either been damaged or lost or I don't even, I, there's several other things that have happened, but this, uh, this is one of the main strong suits of, um, of getting this tablet. <clears throat> so the third objective, uh, the viability of the educational technology tool. So through, through research and reviews of various products with similar capabilities, this specific digital notebook was selected based on budgetary means as well as its functionality, of course. Memory, storage, display, camera, pen, keyboard, etc. And its features. So app downloading, streaming, audio, connectivity ease, battery life, etc. Uh, that are straightforward for all age groups. Also play a significant role in this selection of this technological tool or digital device. So the fourth objective uh, is the financial impact of the adoption of this educational technology tool. Um, these digital notebooks will account for a good portion of school budgeting. Uh, because of this, um, we could always do fundraisers set up in the art department uh, to raise the financial means for this super, super important educational tool. Um, the US federal government states 
and school districts collectively spend between 26 and 41 billion dollars per year on educational technology materials according to a new analysis released by a coalition of education nonprofits led by the EdTech Evidence Exchange. Um, and this comes from, we have no clue how much the U.S. spends on EdTech, but it's at least two times what many of us thought, um, a resource retrieved from LinkedIn. Um, okay, so our fifth objective and our final objective is the concerns around digital citizenship and ethics. Uh, starting off with di digital citizen citizenship, a digital citizenship refresher will be taught during this training for those who do not have an extensive experience with educational technology or technology itself um, and do not actively engage positively, critically, and competently in the digital environment. Students are responsible for being aware of their digital footprint and how the information and material linked to their accounts may be available online to future colleges, employers, and social connections. Um, this statement was retrieved from Guidelines for Responsible Use of Technology, uh, University Prep 2016. Um, this is a very, very important aspect of um, what this tool will allow for. Um, let's move on to ethics. So ethics plays a role because plagiarism could be more evident through the use of these tablets. So this is where we need to be really sure that this is a good ed, ed tech tool. Um, rather than conduct research to find sources, some students are copying and pasting material. And this is something we, we see time and time again. Um, they plagiarize a report by trying to pass off a Wikipedia article as their own. Yes, this happens a lot. Um, so that was taken from creative ways that teens are using technology to cheat. Very well, family, uh, 2021. So that was the breakdown of my art department educational technology training seminar workshop. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you.